Uh, um, which is all just setting me up, setting everybody up for this. So it's called a journey to Labrador. <laughs> <laughs> what a joke, just one second. A journey through Labrador, burning Howgate, uh, and um, I was in Newfoundland a few years ago, and I drove from um, St. John's uh, all the way to uh, Gross Morn, um, Gross Morn, surely, and, um, uh, and I, got to, I got to Gross Morn, and I stayed in a little bay of tranquility, or whatever the fuck it was called, and um, nothing happens there, obviously. And I went for a walk um, uh, as the sun was going down and the fly. Beautiful, completely dead. I'm trudging along this pebble beach. There was a man, an, an elderly gentleman, just standing burning some wood, which is what you do. And uh, did the little. Right, right. Carried on, I walked into the sunset, and uh, well, as far as one could. I've been done now. I walk back, and he's still there. Uh, and as I walk back, um, somebody says something. Um, he starts talking, and within 30 seconds, I realise that I don't understand a fucking word he's saying. Um, um, but it sounds fascinating. Um, and um, he was, uh, I figured out, telling me about the 10 or 12 times in his life he almost died, and all of them were at sea. Because um, he was a god fisherman, like I think a lot of people were. And he told me that his family, I, um, uh, I said, you know, where are your family from? He, he told me his name, which I managed to figure out was Peter Smith, something really, really simple, but uh, very English, but it took a while to get him to actually spell it out for me. And I said, where, how long have you been here? He goes, we don't know. Uh, but, but, he said, and you're from this area? He goes, no, we're from Labrador, which is far less people. <laughs> and, um, and, and, uh, I'm ashamed to say this, but I recorded the conversation because I wanted to figure it out later. Uh, and his accent was, you know, people in St. John's did sound like, um, oh, St. John, wait, St. John, no, St. John, 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 people in St. John's sound like Canadians. Uh, albeit they're living in, as far as I'm concerned, the most westerly province of the British Isles. It doesn't really resemble Canada. It far more resembles the human in Ireland and Scotland and Ireland. Thank the Lord. Uh, and, um, uh, but he, um, he spoke uh, um, within, from phrase to phrase, from sentence to sentence, as if he was from down near the West Country, down near Stonehenge, so was it, down near there, Cornwall and Devon. And, and then he just shifted down in that year, down near, uh, down near Cork or Kerry. I'm on the southwest of Ireland, and then just from down near the Carolinas or Kentucky, all in the same sentences, uh, which is kind of hard to follow. And he was using words that what most people, certainly in Britain, have been using in 400 years. Um, and uh, it was that was the moment. I went, Fuck, I, if I had some Shakespeare or even some Chaucer, <laughs> could you just read this? Just, just read it straight. And for the first time, I think in my life, it would have rhymed. Uh, um, <laughs> that's the story. <laughs>